Hi, Brave Girls. Welcome back to another episode of the Brave Girl Project podcast. In today's episode, we're talking all about how to deal with challenging teachers. I know that this is a topic that many of us can relate to, and it's something that I also remember struggling with when I was in middle and high school. If you're new to me, my name is Laura Hayes. I'm a life coach that works with tween and teen girls. Whether you're in middle school or high school, having a teacher that you just don't connect with can leave you feeling frustrated, confused, and overwhelmed. But today we're talking about how you can survive and thrive through these challenging situations and come out stronger and more aware of yourself on the other end. So let's dive in. First, let's start by validating those feelings. It is okay to feel stressed, overwhelmed, confused, when you're just not clicking with your teacher. We've all been there and it can be hard. You might feel like no matter what you do, your teacher is just not seeing you or giving you a fair chance. But guess what? You are not alone. And those feelings are completely valid. The good news is that you have more control than you might think. The next step after we validate our own emotions is let's try to take a different perspective. And this one is a little tough, but I want you to see your teacher as a human being. It's sometimes hard to remember that teachers are people too, and they're just like us. They can have rough days, feel stressed, and maybe they're juggling things outside of school. Stopping and asking yourself, what might be going on with my teacher? What challenges might they be facing in or outside school? In asking yourself these questions, it helps take you out of the equation. It helps us see that our teacher is separate and that their behavior or our experience may not be directly related to us. It may take the personal sting out of the situation, but it doesn't make the situation right. It still is hard when you have a teacher that is very difficult to deal with, and especially if you feel that they're targeting you. One of the best tools you have is to calmly and clearly communicate with your teacher. If you're struggling with your teacher, consider approaching them directly, but respectfully. Staying after school for their office hours is a great way to have the private time you may need to speak with this teacher. So pick your time carefully. Then choosing your words, using phrases like, I'm having a hard time understanding this. Can you explain this a bit more to me? Being respectful shows maturity and can help your teacher see you in a new light. Sometimes it helps to talk this out with a friend, parent, or a school counselor. It can feel very isolating when you're having a hard time with a teacher, but you don't have to carry the load all alone. Share your frustrations and ask for advice from people who've been in similar situations. It also could be helpful for someone to share their perspective of the situation because perhaps you're not seeing the whole picture and someone from outside could have a different vantage point than what you're able to currently see. But remember, it's about finding solutions, not just venting. And what I remind all of the girls that I work with When there's something negative about a teacher that really bothers us, we tend to focus on that. It's like we're constantly searching for evidence to prove that trait is true. Maybe your teacher was unfair in one situation, and now you're only focusing on moments that support that belief. But here's the thing. Our thoughts are not always true. What we focus on, we magnify. So if you keep thinking, this teacher doesn't like me, You'll keep finding moments that seem to prove it, even if that's not the whole story. This comes down to us having to challenge our thoughts. We need to ask ourselves, is this 100% true? You have the power to shift your focus and choose to have a more balanced view. It doesn't mean ignoring the problems, but it does mean not letting that one negative trait take over your whole perspective. Dealing with a difficult teacher is also an opportunity to build resilience. You will be learning skills that will be useful far beyond school. How to deal with conflict, how to stay motivated when things feel difficult and maybe not entirely fair. These are all part of developing a growth mindset where challenges aren't seen as roadblocks, but opportunities for growth. Lastly, let's talk about building bridges, not walls. Even if your teacher is difficult, you still can take small steps to improve your relationship with them. Sometimes something simple as saying hi at the start of class or asking a thoughtful question can shift how they see you. It won't happen overnight, but it can help. So my brave girls, remember, dealing with a difficult teacher is challenging, but it's something that you can manage and learn from by focusing on what you have control over, your own efforts, communicating clearly, and building your own resilience, 
you'll come out stronger on the other side of this class. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Break Goal Project podcast. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend. You can watch it over on YouTube or you can listen in on your favorite podcast app. And as always, stay brave, stay strong, and continue to believe in yourself. I can't wait to see you in the next one.